On Thursday, May 24th, Mark Lowry will be bringing his What's Not to Love tour to First Christian Church in Johnson City. And this morning, we want to welcome Mark to Daytime Tri-Cities. Hello, Mark. Hello, how are you? I'm doing really well this morning. Hey, could you tell us what, what's, love, what's Not to Love tour all about? Well, it's me, a microphone, and a stool. <laughs> it's come down to that. And uh, it's 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 uh, what's not to love is a new project that I've released a CD that I've released called, and it's called what's not to love. I wrote these. I wrote four songs on this new project with Reba Rambo and Donnie McGuire. And and my favorite one is called what's not to love. And so we just named the tour after it. And it's going to be me talking about whatever's going on in my world. And I'll be doing songs from that project. You know, I. I have ADD, so I know what the first song will be that night, and I know what the last song will be, but it's an ADHD rabbit trail getting to it. <laughs> You're just going to get us from point A to point B, and, and we'll enjoy the trip in between, right? <laughs> uh, well, hopefully, yeah. I work out my salvation on stage, and people buy tickets to come hear it. Oh, very good, very good. You know, <laughs> you've been performing since you were 11, and you wrote the Christmas classic, Mary, Did You Know, and you sang with the Gaither vocal band for many years. What are you most proud of or excited about in your career? Oh, that I've made it to 60. I'll be 60 this, the month of June, June 24th. And I take the whole month. I don't just take a day. No, I'll be, but, but I, just that I've made it this far. You know, people used to ask me, where do you see yourself in five years? I never thought I'd get this far. I am just highly blessed. It seems like I've been favored or something because God has been so good to me. And uh, probably, though, if I had to pick one thing that I have done that I am, if I could have only done one thing, it would be probably Mary Did You Know, having uh, written the lyric to that. And Buddy Green wrote a beautiful melody, and I'm very grateful for that, that song. And just checking out your website, you know, trying to do my homework, and, and, and I saw that you have a tour, this tour that's currently going on. You have a big cruise planned for next year, and you have a film series and podcast called Dinner Conversations. Tell us about that. Well, my cruise will be Mark Lowry's Spring Fling. It's in March of 2019, and you can go to marklowrycruise.com and learn all about it. The Ball Brothers will be with me on the cruise, the Martins, Stan Whitmire. Uh, it's going to be a great time. And Taranda Green also will, will be on the cruise. So it's going to be a fun cruise, and we're going to have a lot of games, and we're going to just, I'm going to make sure it's a fun week. And you're going to have to go home to rest. We're going to have a good time. So uh, that is coming up. I've got uh, this dinner conversations. I love to eat, and I love to talk. And there's nothing I'm more... I love more than doing both of those at the same time, not literally, but, you know, having dinner and great conversations. So I decided to start a podcast, a video film series podcast, they call it, sort of like a PBS special. And we delve into deep uh, things like Sandy Patty talked about a blended family. You know, she's divorced. Her husband was divorced. They blended eight kids together. And if anybody's ever go, is it going through that, they need to watch that podcast. It, she gave a lot of great information and what God's taught her through that. Um, adopt, we've done one on adoption. It's just different topics. Mark Schultz came in uh, and did the one on adoption. He was adopted and he has adopted kids. Nicole C. Mullen came in and uh, did, uh, we talked about race uh, in the church. Uh, so, and then I have on Monday nights, Mondays with Mark, live on Facebook, my Facebook page at 7 p.m. Central every Monday night, uh, and I have guests every week. It's sort of like a, just a fun get together because everybody hates Mondays. So I thought, <laughs> why not throw a party on Monday night at 7 p.m. live on Facebook? So that's what we do. All right, folks can catch you on Facebook. You got your podcast. Where else can folks go to keep up with you? I know your website. I checked it out today. Well, MarkLowry.com is the best place. And, of course, on my Facebook, I'm always updating that. You know, they had to drag me kicking and screaming onto Facebook because I thought I already know too many people. But I love it because uh, there's 415,000 followers now on my Facebook page. And when I go live, they all hear about it and come in and we have a conversation and talk. And it, I love the uh, – I love the – the immediacy of it. I, I love that you can reach the world for free on Facebook and never leave your house. 
That's great. Mark, thanks so much for taking some time out today. And I know the folks at First Christian Church and everyone here in the Tri-Cities is looking forward to your performance here on May 24th. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. All right. Take care, Mark. Thank you. Bye-bye.